Yeah. She'll kill ya. Welcome back to Rated J Games, guys. Jay here as always, and I haven't had an update video in about two weeks, and I'm rather due. And uh, this time I want to do a couple things different. Well, not a couple things. I'm going to do one thing different and kind of make it a little more fun and maybe informative. And you're going to get to know me gaming wise a little more in this one. But that's after the whole weight loss thing, and that's what these videos are usually for, and I don't have much to say in that department, but if you know my last update, <clears throat> I did gain a couple pounds, but I can say that I lost those couple pounds, plus one, and now I am down to 590 from 593, and I know it it's not a lot, and I could have, uh, definitely done more, but I've been down and out. The weather here in Texas is atrocious. One day it's 20 degrees, the next it's 80, and then it just flip-flops. So, I've been, <laughs> I've, I've had a cold and everything, so, and honestly, the foods that I've been eating aren't the best, but... I'm, I'm getting there and I'm gonna be exercising more and more as time goes on so uh, yeah 590 that's not bad but moving on um, I wanted to do something different in this video and on Twitter Indie Timmy posted this get to know me uh, video game edition thing which you see to that side of me right now and it's 20 questions, and we're going to run through the questions, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to answer all these, but I'm going to give it a go. So, starting with question one, which is a game that had a lasting impression on me, and if you guys know me, you know what I'm going to say already, and that is Final Fantasy VII. I have played that game once a year since release, and that's the original release way back on the PS1, and I've owned it <clears throat> and played it on multiple different PlayStation consoles, including the PC, and it's it's insane. I, I still love the game, and every time I play it, it still gives me that nostalgia fast, um, factor that, I, I mean, I'm gonna play that game until I'm in the grave, and hopefully I'm buried with a copy. So, <laughs> but number one is Final Fantasy VII, and that's probably going to be a theme for a few of these questions, because I really could use that for a couple of them. But going on to number two, my favorite female video game character has to come from a recent game in recent years, which is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm going to say Aloy, because Aloy kick so much ass and I had fun playing that game and going through her story and everything and I'm hoping there's a sequel on a horizon uh, sometime soon so horizon zero dawn Aloy for question number two a game that is so bad but so good uh, I'm for number three I'm gonna say Grand Theft Auto 4 I had fun with it, but it's not my favorite game, but I could still go back and have fun with the police chases in any Grand Theft Auto, really. But, uh, <clears throat> GTA 4, I'm gonna say for that one. Number 4, though. A game that hit an emotional spot in your heart, or my heart in this case, and mind you, the answers I give for these are gonna be different from person to person. So, uh, <laughs> it, yours is gonna, yours is gonna differ from mine, but for number four, a game that hit me emotionally would have to be The Last of Us. I mean, you play as this guy, Joel, and within the first 10 minutes of that game, his, his daughter and him are trying to get the safety, and she's end up getting, she ended up getting shot and killed and as you go on on through that story you meet with a girl named Ellie and 
him and Joel end up, her and Joel, I should say, end up uh, forming a bond which kind of filled that void in his heart. But the first 15 minutes of that game really had me choked up because it, it was sad. It was really sad and the voice acting and everything that was going on at the time really punched that home. So, The Last of Us for number four. Number five, my favorite game developer or studio no longer exists. And that's Squaresoft, which you would know as Square Enix now after the merger, but I honestly think uh, the quality of games that have come out of Square Enix do not match with the quality of games that came out of Squaresoft. So, yeah, I'm gonna say that. My favorite male video game character? I'm gonna go Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. I just, I love that game so much. I love all the characters in it. And, I mean, everybody might say he's a moody, whiny character, but I really like Cloud. I really think that Cloud, his story was so screwed up. And he had to overcome everything within that. I think it makes him a good character. But then again, I'm a Final Fantasy VII fanboy, and I am proud of it. Say what you must. But, uh, yeah. Number seven is my five... Five of your favorite original soundtracks. I can't really answer this one. Um, I mean, I could say Final Fantasy VII. I love the music in that. Um, so Weekend and 2 had some decent music, but there are so many games out there with great soundtracks that I, I really can't give you an honest answer. Beat Saber? Beat Saber is another one. Beat Saber is all about the music, and the music in that game is great. But, uh, yeah, I really, I can't, I can't really sum that up right now. I can't pinpoint just five. So, I'm, I'm just going to move on from that question. And going on to number eight. A game that not enough people talk about. And I just mentioned it, but Suikoden, the Suikoden series is such a good series of games. And I never hear anything about it except for like those, those fans that are into like niche series and whatnot. So... I'm gonna say So We Get In. So We Get In 2 was actually my favorite one. Um, my second favorite would have to be 5, and then 1, and then, you know, so on and so forth. Um, number 9, we're gonna go back to Final Fantasy 7 here, but number 9 is Favorite Villain. And it says be mindful of spoilers, so I'm not gonna spoil anything, but everybody already knows. But that is Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7. He is so he is such a badass character, and I think we need more villains like him. You could go ahead and say he's a mama's boy or whatever, but Sephiroth was badass. Uh, number 10, my favorite game as a kid. I'm gonna have to go with Super Mario Bros. 3. Mario Bros. 3 has a special place in my heart because... Me and my father, we used to play it a lot. But it's also a game that I got from my brother Mike around Christmas time. He actually went ahead and went out of his way to get me this game. He ac he actually asked me which one I wanted. Did I want Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario Bros. 3? I picked 3 because I thought 3 looked better. And I'm really glad I did because I still actually play that game till today. And it I still have a blast with it. I still have a lot of good memories with it. So, yeah, my favorite game as a kid was Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Nintendo Entertainment Center. Or system, sorry. <laughs> the NES, not NEC. Top five, five of your favorite video games. One, Final Fantasy VII. Gonna get that out of the way. Two, The Last of Us. Three, Beat Saber. Beat Saber is amazing. 
four. Uh, four would have to be Metal Gear Solid. I love. I, when I when I first played that game, I was instantly hooked. It was such a good game, and there, you all know Metal Gear Solid by now. And number five. Number five is always a toss-up for me. It could be either Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Xenogears. So, any of those three that you want to put there, go for it. But those are my top five. Twelve, a game or series that you've never been interested in. <sighs> Indie Timmy's going to be mad at me. But, uh, there's a couple series... A lot of people are probably going to be mad at me, but, uh, Doom. Doom is a series that I have really never been interested in. Uh, even way back when. Uh, I just, I don't think there's much to the game except for you go to one room, you kill everything in it, you find a key, you go to the room that was locked for the key, you go in there and you kill everything else. So on and so forth, rinse and repeat. Yeah, I, I could see the appeal, I guess. It's just mindless, uh, you know, destruction and mayhem and whatnot, sure, but I'm really not into that. I'm more into RPGs, games with really good stories and whatnot. And let me tell you, I've, I've ran into some horrible RPGs in my day, so, yeah. But Doom is a series that I really haven't been interested in. Along with, like, Kirby, Star Fox, Yoshi's Island, stuff like that. Number 13. My favorite NPC or party member? Um, I don't think he... Oh, he... <clears throat> at certain points, he's an NPC, I guess? Or... He's in your party, but you could also control him? But I'm gonna say Trevor from GTA 5. He is insane. And I think that craziness that he brought to Grand Theft Auto V was much needed, and it was a fun relief for everybody. I mean, he's a dirty old drunk who pretty much will shoot anybody that looks at him funny. But, yeah, I'm gonna say Trevor <laughs> from GTA V. 14, a game that never gets old, Final Fantasy VII, move it on. 15, a game that everyone should play at least once, Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> a game that inspires me. Uh, I'm not going to say FF7 here, but a game that inspires me. I'm going to say Beat Saber. Beat Saber is something that I'm actually using to lose weight i i played a lot and um it's it's a great game and it's one of those games that you actually have to be inspired to play in my opinion especially with somebody as big as i am um i have kind of mobility issues because of you know my roundness but um I actually get up there and I, I work out. It's it's a game that I have fun with. I love the music. I love what you do in a game. But it gets me up moving. And yeah, it, 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 it inspires me to lose weight and better myself. So Beat Saber for number 16. 17 is my favorite genre, which is, I just got done saying role-playing games, JRPGs, RPGs, whatever has a grand story and you develop your characters, like their story develops so well that you actually get to know and feel for them. So, the role-playing games. I mean, I know there's other games in other genres that do that as well, but my favorite is role-playing games. Very long stories that you could get sucked in for a good long time. 18. That game you really should have played by now. Ooh. There's so many. There are so, so many. Um. Wow. I'm gonna... I own it. I do own it. 
but I have not booted it up at all. And I really need to play it. I know I just said I'm into role-playing games. And this is one, and it's by Square Enix. But, uh, Dragon Quest XI, or Dragon Warrior XI, whatever. Um, yeah, I really, I really need to get down and play that game. A favorite indie game you I've played recently? Um, I haven't played many indie games. I I really haven't. Um, I know I played Undertale. I hate Undertale though. I I despise the community. I do not like the game. I know that may uh, some people may hate me for that, but. I don't like Undertale. Um, if anything, an indie game. I real, I really can't say. I really cannot say for number nineteen. And uh, I'm gonna move on from that one because I am super stuck with it because I can't really think of anything for number nineteen. Unless you, um, well, Doki Doki Literature Club. I mean, that game was kind of creepy, but it had a, I can't really say it had anything good about it. It, it was a good game. Don't get me wrong. A game that you could really only play once, but, uh, it, yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club for number 19. Number 20, a game that truly scared the living shit out of me. Ooh, there have been so, so many. Um, Indy, you're gonna love this one. But the Silent Hill series. I've tried playing multiple Silent Hills, and I can't get through them. I can't, I'm... I don't like horror anything. I could watch horror movies, sure, but playing a video game, being sucked into a game, a horror game, I can't do. I, I cannot really do. I don't even know how I'm playing Resident Evil 2 right now, and that's not even that scary because I played it back on the PS1 where horror games weren't that scary unless it was Silent Hill. So, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with Silent Hill. I... Indy's been wanting me to play a Silent Hill game for quite a while, and I keep telling him to go screw himself, because I won't do it. I, I will not play a Silent Hill game. But, that brings us to the end of this, uh, update question video, I guess you could call it. And, uh... I had fun with these. I might try to do something like this every time I had to do an update video. Um, if you guys want to answer any of these questions, uh, do so down in the comments below. I'd like to know more about your, uh, your gamer self. So, if you guys made it this far, then uh, thank you. And hopefully you liked the video. And if you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And, uh, yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I say